Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to teach you how to make an incredible pickled salad. One hour is all you're going to need. Three ingredients, actually five ingredients including the salt and the pepper, but it's something anybody can do. You don't need any cooking skills to do it. When you make this, you're going to impress the hell out of your friends and family. It's absolutely a perfect side dish. You can put it in a salad, but the thing about it is it actually is not only simple, but it's healthy because I use honey and not sugar. The other thing is, I got this really cool device that my wife bought me called the Full Star. They don't know I'm doing this video. I don't even know who they are, but I'm giving them a shout out. I did test out this nine in one. They call it an onion chopper. It's actually not an onion chopper. I wouldn't even call it that. It's really a multi vegetable chopper, spiralizer, peeler, uh, you name it, this thing does it. It's fantastic. So if you get a chance, check it out. I'm actually gonna put this in my Amazon store because all the things you see in my Amazon store, including my knife sharpeners, my honing compound and paste, my cooking equipment, sous vide, air fryer, you name it, it's all in my Amazon store because a lot of people ask me, where did I get it? Do I like it? Anything that's in there you see, I actually own or have owned and I use and I like or else it's not in my Amazon store. So what we're gonna start with is, I've got some great fresh vegetables. This is a very interesting cucumber called an Armenian cucumber. It's actually sweet, not like sugary sweet, but it's much sweeter than a regular cucumber. They're out in the summertime. They're really super long. They can get huge. I like them about maybe three inches in diameter and maybe like 12 inches long. I've got some really, really beautiful tomatoes right here. Some uh, scallions. I love scallions, even though there's onions in this, I do love my scallions. And we've got some Brussels sprouts. And of course, we've got some beautiful red onion. We're actually gonna pickle these and it's only gonna take us about an hour to do it. Now the recipe's simple. It only has three main ingredients and then you have your salt and your pepper. We've got our balsamic vinegar. This is rice vinegar, not rice wine vinegar, that's different. This is rice vinegar. And then we have our honey. We'll mix that together with our salt and pepper. We're gonna seal it up in a container, shake it up really well. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that in the refrigerator. Let that sit for about an hour. We're gonna mix it up really good, taste it. And then we're gonna have an incredible pickled salad. So the nice thing about this is it doesn't slide. It has these great rubber feet on the bottom and you can push this down. It does not move as you're trying to push it across the counter, which is really nice. So it's very sturdy. This is nice because it's removable for cleaning, super easy. And you have two different sizes. You have this size. And if you're doing like a potato hash or something, you can go to like the smaller cubes, which is really convenient. I like that a lot, but we're going to use the bigger one for the vegetables tonight. You put this in, lock it up. This also, comes out for cleaning. You just pull this down like so, and it pops out, and you can then clean the device. Nice and sanitary, super easy to clean. Really like it. It's put together, and it's actually made really well. All we gotta do is put our tomato in. You can do a couple at a time, but you put it in, push it down, and it's good to go. It's pretty easy, pretty cool, and you can do a couple at a time if you want. Um, I usually don't do more than two. You don't wanna fill it up too hard. Put it in, push it down, and you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and put our tomatoes in there like so, and then we're gonna get our Brussels sprouts. And that is it, and here we go, it's all in the container. Now when you're done with everything, you want a container that you can seal, turn over, it isn't gonna leak. These are Rubbermaid, they're actually really inexpensive. There's also a link down below in my Amazon store, I like these, it's kinda like Tupperware, except you get a lot of these for not a whole lot of money, which is always a big plus. So we wanna take all of our ingredients that are chopped, we're gonna put them in this container, and you can see it's almost the same size, very close, but everything is consolidated. We've got nice kind of tight formation here. So when we add all of our liquid, it's gonna really surround all of these vegetables and give you a really great flavor in about 60 minutes. Now for a suggestion, if you use the olive oil, remember, oil and water don't mix. So the first thing you do is you wanna put on your other liquid ingredients to coat the vegetables, and then we'll add a little bit of olive oil to go over that. If you put the olive oil on it, then the other liquids kind of float on top of it, which is okay, because you can shake it up and mix it more often. I just find that adding these first, mixing it really well, letting it get coated, then adding some light drizzle of the olive oil really helps us in the process. So the first thing is I'm using my seasoned rice vinegar, not rice wine vinegar, but rice vinegar. And people ask you how much? Well. I really eyeball a lot of my cooking and getting it to a quarter cup or a half a cup, three quarters of a cup, it all depends on the volume you're making. So I would say this is probably, this is probably four cups of vegetables that are not packed. So I'm probably gonna add about 
a quarter of a cup of the rice vinegar. So I'll go ahead and put that on here like so, and about a quarter of a cup. Next, I'm using some high quality balsamic vinegar. This is a little thicker than most. There's some of the balsamics kind of runny. This one's a little bit thicker, coats vegetables really well. For this one, you don't have to do as much, probably about three to four tablespoons. So we'll put that on there. And then the magic, a lot of people you'll see actually use sugar in some of their recipes and refined sugar is just not really good for you. And there's also things that are healthier. This is a local honey that I got up in the mountains here. The thing about local honey is great as I have allergies. And so if you take local honey every day, I take a tablespoon, it's pretty amazing. It actually helps your allergies. So little tip, local honey, if you have allergies, check it out. And we'll put a nice tablespoon of honey in here. We'll go ahead and mix this up a little bit. Get this going. And we can add our oil next. Now, olive oil, you don't need a whole lot. I probably would stick to maybe a tablespoon for four cups. It's a little drizzle of this, maybe a tablespoon, and that's all we're gonna go for the olive oil. We'll go ahead and mix this up again. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some salt. Sweet and salt is a great combination. So I've got my hex clad pepper mill. We'll add some salt here. That's more to taste. I kind of know how much to put in. This is probably about, about, about maybe a half a tablespoon. And then we'll use a little bit of pepper, not too much, but I find the pepper gives a real nice flavor. So we'll use that, maybe, maybe about a teaspoon or so of, of pepper. We're gonna go ahead and cover it up. Make sure it's sealed all the way over so you don't have a nice surprise when you go to shake it. We'll do a little burp test here, press down and... I love that. And then you're gonna go and shake it up really good. So we'll go ahead and take this, put it in the fridge. We'll see you back in 60 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and show you how easy it is. This is obviously the reservoir we used and it's super easy. It's a super thick Lex sandwich I like. And uh, I'll go ahead and use a sponge later, but it really washes out super clean without even scrubbing it. This, of course, we used really well. And we're gonna go ahead and just open this up like so. This pops out, you can wash it off. So one of the things they give you is a cleaning comb and a cleaning brush. And take this out like so and wash it out. And we've got it all nice and clean. And then for the blades, you just slide this over, the blades come out and clean it off very easily. And our blades are clean. And for this, you just take it and put it under the water. It's all plastic, there's no metal parts, not gonna hurt anything. You just wash it off and it's clean in a flash. So while we're waiting for our pickled salad, I wanted to show you the components of this. This is the top, of course, the bottom. And one of the things that's really cool is that it just sets on there perfectly. There's nothing to snap. You don't have to align anything. And this is a super hard Lexan type plastic. I mean, you can't, if I squeeze this, I can hardly get the edges to go in. So really good quality. Um, I've seen other choppers that I've seen at like Target other stores that are really chintzy. This one's rock solid. This is the actual larger chopper. Again, these go in here like so. You fit them in with the guide and you just lock them in place and they don't come out. So that's fantastic as well. Comes with this really cool peeler. This actually does vegetable peeling. It'll let you do different types of uh, spaghetti type of peels where you can, you know, run across a cucumber and get a nice strip. You have your holder for when you use your spiralizer. That goes on here. You put your vegetable in, you just basically twist it and you can get your spiralized vegetables. It also comes with an egg slicer. <laughs> Very cool. And one of my favorite things, the egg separator, which is great because my wife does macarons. I do things where you use egg yolk only. So the fact you can take this out, put this in like so, and start putting your eggs in and getting your yolks and dumping them out and keeping the egg whites in there is really, really cool. So great idea. I haven't seen anything like this before, but I like it. We've got another type of spiralizer uh, device, shredding for different styles. We have our thin cubes for, you know, we wanna do a corned beef hash or brisket hash or any type of, you know, vegetables really cubed, especially potatoes. This is definitely the one for it. And then this one is the juicer. This juicer is really cool. You put this in here and you know, it's manual, but you can crank out fresh lemon juice for your cooking or lime juice, orange juice, super fast. And it goes right in the container. You can even then put ingredients in here and mix it up, super convenient. It comes with a handy cleaning brush. So if you need to get in here, scrub all the nooks and crannies, you can do that, which is really nice. And then it comes with this cleaning brush, which is really nice as well to get through everything. And these again are your food combs, I call them, to get between these squares right here. 
All of it fits in a nice little container. So that is the tour. And let's take a look now that it's been 60 minutes and let's see what our pickled salad looks like. And of course, the most important thing, the taste test. So here we are with our incredible salad. Smells fantastic. Everything looks amazing. You just have an incredible dish. This happens to be some Brussels sprouts, beautiful tomatoes. Look at the color on these things. That a little acidity from the vinegar balanced out perfectly with the balsamic and that honey sweetness cuts that acidity. And one of my favorites is this Persian cucumber. It is absolutely amazing. Plain with a little salt or pickled, just delicious. You gotta check out the Persian cucumber. So there you go, a double whammy. I gave you a product review, unsolicited. I just thought you would like to see really cool utility for the kitchen and my recipe for my incredible pickled vegetable salad. You can go and check all the information in the description below. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment, tell me what you thought. I'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby.